Hi, it's Claire here again with a second screen sharing video. And the purpose of this video is to show how a motif can be made into a pattern with the free open source software Pattern Shop. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you've already got a Pattern Shop on your machine. Um, I'm recording this tutorial for a friend again and I know that she has but if you'd like a video about how to download Pattern Shop then please just let me know in the comments below. For now we're just going to double click on Pattern Shop here and whether it be on your desktop or Windows is detected that your computer's performance is slow. I'm not surprised because I'm recording this and trying to do art at the same time but I'm going to click that off and here we are with the pattern shop interface um, so I click file just to start a new file now the size of the file it is A4 by default um, on this although you can choose from lots of different sizes if you were wanting to make a repeating seamless pattern um, just as a a printable paper for example A4 would be a great size for the purposes of this demo though I'm going to make a custom size and because the person for whom I was initially asked to make this um, is thinking about fabrics I'm going to make the width 22 inches substantially oh well, yeah, you have to do it this way around 22 inches and the height 18 and the reason for this is that when the pattern repeats at US fat quarter size for quilting it gives you a really nice display to see what the pattern would look like for quilters anyway so but you set up your document however you like that's just an option and now I'm going to file and we're going to in fact we're going to we're going to go I beg your pardon we're going to go to pattern new pattern now the pattern can be any size you want but this square here shows what's going to repeat anything within that square will repeat so in essence it's like the old-fashioned or the traditional sort of pattern tile that you might make by hand to create a repeat i've just enlarged it slightly and i'm I've put my mouse on the corner here and I'm holding down shift at the same time to get it to enlarge an even amount all around. Okay, so that's where the pattern's going to be for now and we can always change it up. But obviously we need a motif to get in here. Now, in, in one of my last videos I created a transparent PNG as a motif and that's what I'm going to use. But you can use anything. A transparent PNG is good because it will float over the background as you'll see so here i'm just going to go for import a free image and free image recent places your computer may be set up a little bit differently but just go to wherever your stuff is stored i'm going to go here for basic leaf which is what we made last time and here we go because I've imported a free image, we can just see what that image by itself looks like in the pattern. And in order to see what it would look like repeating seamlessly, I pull the image here in project down into pattern one. And there we go. The leaf is repeating. That's all fit and fine, but a little bit dull, you might say. This is where we can start to play. And bear in mind that you're probably going to want to play for a lot longer than me this is just a demonstration you can actually play with this indefinitely for now though i'm going to go up to this is it this is in originally a french program so it says edition up here but we're going to go up to the image and we're going to duplicate it and what that allows me to do is suddenly to create two of them and not only can i put it wherever i want to make this look a little bit more exciting like that looks really good but you could also duplicate again and change sizes i can rotate oh that would look do you think that would look pretty nice there and duplicating 
as many times as is necessary to make interesting patterns. Now, as I say, you, there's a hole there that we need to change the angle and I have to be really, really careful not to play too much to the detriment of the video because playing with this is really quite addictive and the amazing and wonderful thing about pattern shop is that it is open source and therefore free now i can see a great many holes that you would fill in with motifs if this weren't just a demonstration but just for now i'm going to leave that like that and supposing you thought to yourself well this background is a little bit dull well you could um actually uh, just ignore that for a second here is the background layer i'm just going to click on it to highlight it it's telling me that it's currently white it can be any color you choose what color might go nicely with this green maybe a sort of neutral yellowish gray let's try that that's not bad it's a little bit on the dull side so we could change it warm it up a little bit perhaps what's that like quite nice a bit too bright and again infinite possibilities for play open themselves up i'm just settling on that creamy background because it's kind of neutral again you can play with that as much as you want by clicking on this eye here you can even get rid of the background completely which of course leaves the possibility of putting multiple patterns on top of each other and any kind of background you want still making repeats with this tile here so i'm going to leave that background in though because it shows something as i say this is not the world's best pattern necessarily but this is a demonstration if at this point i mean i probably play with it a great deal more but if at this point you were to decide oh okay that's nice what do i do first of all as with most digital programs first step to save the pattern in its native format that is just as a thing that just this program can recognize so i click save and i'm going to call it basic leaf pattern and i'm going to save now this means that anytime i want i can open up basic leaf pattern in pattern shop but that isn't wildly useful because we really want to be able to open it up and use it in other programs so instead of saving what we do there is to export so i'm going file export now i've got two export choices exporting the document exports the whole fat quarter or the, this large size demo or the demo of whatever size you've chosen it still gives you quite a big document what you can do instead is to export the pattern and what that will do is simply export a tile that can repeat as much as you want and you can have it with a grid to see how it goes or just to see how it looks like that and you can see there's many many areas there that i probably should be filling in or that you probably would if you were doing this with more time let's keep that grid on there for now and just save this tile so i'm clicking save as now here i'm saving this as a tiff file because a tiff will be the the most the most solid and least prone to degrade of all files most sites like spoonflower um, or any site that um, accepts repeats i think redbubble um, will accept a TIFF. If your site doesn't, then there's no problem. You can also save this as a as a as a PNG, a JPEG, even a bitmap. Lots of options there. Um, and but let's go for the TIFF and just say basic leaf tile. I don't know about you, but I always give everything very obvious names so that when I'm looking at it in a list, I actually know what's there so i'm just going to save that like that basic leaf tile save and for some reason this will stay up even when you've saved it so don't oh there we go close it and that actually completes this demonstration because you will have exported a tile that can create a seamless pattern using the wonderful open source and free pattern shop software thanks ever so much for watching have a great day